We are learning more about a deadly crash in western Kelloland where an SUV drove into an apartment building. Just this afternoon, Rapid City Police released the names of the two people in the vehicle who were killed. They are identified as 28-year-old Zachary Vermeulen and 24-year-old Andrew Smith of Rapid City. Kelloland's Tyler Louder takes a closer look at the investigation. This is the damage after a speeding SUV crashed into a Rapid City apartment building. Authorities got the call just after 10.30 last night. Initial investigation uh, reveals that the vehicle was traveling southbound on Haynes at a very high rate of speed when it actually left the east side of the roadway and uh, uh, careened into the apartment complex. When crews arrived, they discovered two people in the SUV had died and another person was seriously hurt, but the problems went beyond what they could see. The vehicle uh, severed a gas line, and so there was concern of that causing dangerous explosive levels when that happens. So we have to get people out of that building into a safer level. So there was a lot of moving parts when it came to this scene. The agencies were able to remove all 61 residents here in the apartment building. And thanks to the Holiday Inn across the street, they're able to get everyone in a room safely while crews worked on putting out the gas leak and removing the car from the apartment building. Calvi Ellis lives in the apartment complex and heard the impact of the crash. I don't remember if I'd just fallen asleep or I was still awake, but all of a sudden the building shook and I heard a big boom. And so I got up. About shortly thereafter, the fire alarm goes off, if not right away. Along with Rapid City Police, the Pennington County Sheriff's Office and the South Dakota Highway Patrol are investigating. In Rapid City, Tyler Lauer, Kelloland News. While witnesses say the SUV was speeding before the crash, police want to clarify it was not involved in a chase with law enforcement.